Hello everybody and welcome back to another modded character showcase. This is again part of the mod jam, uh, the dark, uh, Darkest Dungeon, no it's the Darkest Dungeon, uh, Dungeons and Dragons mod jam. We are going to be checking out another new character called Elijah. This is a character that I know almost nothing about because the description is very vague. Basically this guy has a dog. That's about all I know, and that's about all I needed to know. So let's move on in straight into the character and just see what we're see what we're playing around with here, because I am completely unsure what exactly this is. But this could be something quite interesting. Um, I don't exactly know how it's going to work with items. I don't know if we play as the character and have a pet, or if we play as the pet and have an Isaac. <laughs> but so we, yeah, okay, so. Oh, I see. Oh, we pat him on the head. But again, this was made in a very short amount of time in a mod jam. You literally pet him. That's so cute. So I'm going to guess the way this works is we cut. Yeah, we throw bones. It hits an enemy. The dog hunts and then space bar. Item is space. I'm not quite sure what that means unless it's just generally for space bar. Okay, so. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so we'll curse you. So he doesn't just target whoever he wants. Now, can we can we create a target queue? We can. Okay, nice. We can we can get multiple enemies at once, and he'll just jump around. Oh, but the targeting doesn't last forever. Interesting. The targeting doesn't last forever. Okay, this is already a really really interesting character. I I, I wasn't expecting the the tear effects that come off of when he bites things, but I suppose that helps with, like, the AoE aspect of things. Yeah, being able to curse things like this is really, really cool. I'm guessing the burn that we throw does very minimal damage. This is cool, though. This is really cool. And it did look like, based on the pictures from the mod description, this guy does have some synergies. So, we shall see how those work. Okay. Enemies that chase us are going to be a little tricky. But goddamn, this this guy is... He's a real biter. He's a chomper. He does a good job. Now, I'm guessing anything that adds multi-shot to us is going to be very useful. I'm guessing, and I'm hoping, that Compound Fracture has a really interesting synergy. Okay. I, like, I kind of like the fact that he doesn't passively go for enemies. I thought it would be that he passively goes for enemies, and then you choose who he targets. But it seems like he only targets when you hit people, but I kind of like that. I think that works. Uh, I think that works really well, actually. Uh, boss room's up this way. Because it means that it's a lot more active. You can't just sit by and let it happen. Oh, we can stack multiple... multiple targetings onto one enemy. That's interesting. I'm guessing that's just like so he keeps attacking. But yeah, he's doing a good job here with the uh, the bites. I don't know if he gets any more aggressive per the amount of stacks of uh, targeting curses we have on him. We got four in him then. Maybe it increases the damage we deal? Who knows? Um, every other room we get some uh, damage multiplier. That's not bad. We're really looking for, for tier modifiers though that are going to have some unique interactions. Probably anything modded isn't really going to help us. We need base game things. You can go for that. Smaller enemies like this we can just kill. We do have a low fire rate though, so we've got to be aware of that. Okay, wait. Okay, no. He kind of bit this, this dip there, but I'm not quite sure why. Maybe it's just if they like get too close to him, he will still bite them. Can you fly? Okay, no, you can't, but you can jump. And that was a a mighty launch, good sir. A mighty launch indeed. I'm really liking the hippity hops he's got going on here. I don't know what the dog is called, but feel free in the comments to name this lad. Also, for a, for a hot moment there, he was flying. Oh my god. Everything's so colourful. Alright, keep, keep all these dudes going. And then get them guys going as well. Having more familiars, especially ones that, that do stuff irrespective of, of us, like Daddy Longlegs, is going to be really cool. That would be really helpful with this guy, actually. Oh my god. The, like, speed and aggression he has when he jumps over someone to get to an enemy is so cool. 
managed to hit that enemy somehow. He's really strong. I mean, he ought to be, to be fair, but... <laughs> Jump at the little ghosties. Okay, nice. Item room we still need. We don't have a key, though, at the minute, which is a little troubling. I would very much like a key, please. If you could lend me one, that would be most kind of you. Most kind of you. But yeah, I enjoy doing things like these character showcases. Of course, we've done pretty much three in a very short period of time. I've been, I've been recording these all back to back, but I'll be releasing them sort of separate for you guys. So it's a little more spread out for those of you that want the regular series as well. I will grab this because it's going to give us two soul hearts. The gulping doesn't do anything for us. I will take this no, pill though. No, no, not again. It does actually fear that guy, which is kind of nice. And the little buddy's doing a good job. Oh, the chomps. The chomp chomps. Gotta love the chomp chomps. Okay, you get in there. I just absolutely love the mega heat that he goes for. He just like sees an enemy that we targeted from across the entire room and he's like, jump! Honestly, the animations on this little dog, little dog dude, whatever you want to call this guy, Fantastic. Just amazing. Really, really entertaining to watch him dart around the room and attack things. I think that's definitely the best thing about this character thus far, is just how entertaining it is to watch watch him work. Sometimes he does sit idle a little bit. Need to keep him keep him going. It seems that we do have a little bit of a radius on um on these bones. Like I don't have to hit enemies exactly. Oh god, I am getting hit so much here. So he's got them ghost enemies that I bloody well hit. Oh, for f <laughs> How'd I get hit by that? Right. Item room, what do you hold for me? That's actually really good. <laughs> Lovely. Makes us look pretty awesome. Gives us some extra damage, which I quite like. Right, let's go take on the boss. Away we go. Come on, my dog boy. My little fella. My great little treasure. Get get this guy to meet up with Blood Puppy ASAP. That is... That is what we need to happen. We need Blood Puppy. Blood Puppy and Burn Doggy. That's his name now. There's Blood Puppy, there's Burn Doggy. These two need to meet. He also seems like he'd synergize with Tooth and Nail, just he kind of looks like the Tooth and Nail item a little bit. Some good chomp chomps there. Well done, sir. Well done. Let's carry on our way. I wonder, things like this, like Stem Cell here, that, that fires for us, will this also apply the curse, or does it literally only apply on the burn hit? I'm, I'm really unsure on that. Gonna be hard to tell. The burn seems to have a, a certain amount of herming. Yeah, the burn has definitely got a good bit of herming on it. Look at that jump. Chomp, chomp. The slice, the dice. And it seems like the curse lasts just long enough. I, won't, I keep calling it curse, it's not really a curse. Uh, but the mark, it seems to last just long enough for him to get like two or three attacks in and kill the enemy. I kind of want him to kill this thing first. There you go. Ah, it's only the key. God damn it. They're inside him. Good, good. <laughs> oh. This seems like a this seems like a like a tainted character from the base game. It really does. It plays really really well. I'm really looking forward to getting some items that work well with this. But even if I don't, this is still a thoroughly entertaining character to play. I have to say. Oh no, he's trapped. It's okay though. That's why we have our own damage just in case. I'm guessing him jumping onto something that's one tile is not not ideal for him. Get in there. <laughs> Just jumps over all the rocks. It's crazy. Get 
There you go, the double chomp. Sometimes he does the dive, sometimes he swipes, sometimes he chomps. He makes his own destiny. Okay, so the stem cells definitely doesn't apply the burn, uh, the burn targeting. Good to know. Right, let's quickly go back and get our item room. See what that might hold for us. I'm expecting great treasures. Farting, maybe. Ugh. I mean, he goes he goes kind of well with our dog, so <laughs> I, I'm not gonna explain how. Just accept it. We do have an Excel floor here, so we are waiting for another item room. Jump! Go for it. Okay, there you go. Fighting baby, I see. See, I told you. I told you it'd go well. We need to fire it up. That'd be really good for applying the, the mark a bit quicker. We also got a golden bomb here as well. Wow. Rather nice. Jump! Huzzah! The speed. The speed which this boy goes at. And this is probably going to be our boss. We're going to have to go all the way back for our item room, I think. That just killed him straight out. We do have enough damage to kill most enemies just outright at the moment. Oh, unfortunately, that's not a devil deal here. I was really hoping for a devil deal because I'd love to see what like Brimstone does with this guy, if anything. I think I will just take my boss straight on. <laughs> Get over there and jump them both at once. Lovely. Okay. Doggy didn't seem too interested in the yellow guy for now. Doesn't want to eat piss. Which, honestly, is completely understandable. I will not judge you for this. Oh, bugger. He died, like, right when I didn't expect him to. Okay, he keeps chomping. That's all good. Oh my god. He's chomping away. There's so much damage. Oh god, I've taken a lot of damage here. Do not worry though. Salsa is here to help. Now this is your sort of enemy to chomp on. Grab him. What the hell? I've not seen that attack before. Or at least not, not noticed the animation for it. I'm trying to get in there with the bombs to be honest. It's a lot easier. I did not get a devil deal. We did get a look upgrade here, however, and we are unfortunately have to go traipsing all the way back to find our other item room. I always hate when this happens. We will look for our secret room where we can try and find it. There you go. Just in case. Why the hell not? And now we can actually afford something in our shop as well, which is kind of nice. I don't think there's any shop items that would potentially synergize with this guy. Probably not. Come on, my doggy buddy. I am a little upset that he doesn't, like, follow you through the rooms. I'm glad you can pet him. But it'd be nice if he just kind of walked around with you through the rooms. Uh, this is actually pretty good. There's an all stats up. It's interesting that we change color every other room. Because of that item that gives us the, uh, the defibs. Because of the damage boost every other room. Now these enemies are going to be an absolutely huge pain. I hate these enemies at the best of times. Do you know what? I hate them that much. I'm not even going to do this room. There we go. Oh god, he's just chomping away. And we get purity, which is looking very different than normal. But I like it. I like the respite. Purity. Oh, we got the fire rate bonus as well. Awesome. Not engaging with you fellas. Okay, so stem cells is really going crazy from that fire rate boost. Uh, our burn throw, however, doesn't seem to have been changed at all. But yeah, stem cells. Stem cells is going wacky. We are firing that rapid style. It's rather nice bit of alternate damage for us. Not what I was expecting, however. But it's something. Um, come on, my doggy. My bone doggy. 
So we'll take our leave. And hopefully get you a synergy. You want a synergy, buddy? Oh, you want a synergy. Give your pets in a synergy. So kind of now that we've got the stem cell thing going on and all the fire right, we can kind of play this as a fairly normal run and just have him jumping around passively dealing damage. We don't need his damage exactly, although his damage is definitely better than ours. Oh, I've lost my I've lost my fire rate bonus. Now we do need him. And we get a range bonus. Honestly, just do, deal damage to me so I can get a different bonus. The range bonus is the worst one by far. Give me damage at least. Yeah, there you go, there's damage. Okay, the chomp chomps. Yeah, I definitely see why they have that AoE spread idea. This is a group of small enemies like that and you'd have to apply the burn targeting to each one of them individually. It would be rather annoying, so... I could certainly see why they did it the way they did. Don't, don't target the enemy that you can't hit, please. Nice. Jump, jump. God damn, he is absolutely killing it. I do think he is scaling with our damage here, because that is... Oh, that was a very bad hit by me there. Uh, that is an awful lot of damage he's dealing, but we've just lost our red aura, so... Say bye-bye to that. Now we've gotten... Now we've been given speed. Which I'm nowhere near as enthusiastic about, I'll be honest. This is the resummon room. Yeah, honestly, that damage boost was very noticeable. I'm, I'm really missing it right now. I need to kill this fat bat over here. That helps. There is a lot of skulls in this room, I've just realised. Oh, really? Okay, okay. I knew I might get a hearst or two, and I should have just waited till the room was over, but that many? Are you kidding me? It's a bit rude. Oh, dude, doggy, you're too late. Sucking me in. Ah, god damn it, I'm taking damage so much. What's left? Oh, hello. Ah, shit. Okay, I am taking way too much damage right now. And I have absolutely no idea where my health sits. Okay, I just take more damage again. Dude, dog, can you, like, get over here? <laughs> I do love you, buddy, but you have to actually hit things. I realise that you're made of burn, but you still need to attack the burn enemies. You don't get to they don't get a free pass. Wow, that was rough. Okay, rough boss as well. Very rough boss, yep. Yeah. I think I'm going to be on like two hearts by the end of this floor, maybe less. More max HP, that is good at least. And of course, of course, why wouldn't I have accidentally gone every which way apart from my item room? I'm honestly going to use the Emperor card to skip back to the room once I get the item room going. He managed to kill the little red fly before killing the enemy, which is something I've never seen before. Oh, dude, this guy, I can't, I can't target him. I don't know why. That was rather strange. Get in there, boy. Lovely. Here we go. Here we go. Unfortunately, we still haven't had a good aura. 
Our aura has been bad. Multiple times now. Okay, just get this guy. It's the last one remaining. Oh, come on. 120 volt? I don't know if that's got a synergy. Potentially, maybe? We've not had anything tier effect based yet, though. Which is what we're looking for, really. At the end of the day. Got the bombs. Good, good. Yeah, I'm just going to Emperor card and leave. For the next floor. I need to see what my health's at. Okay, it's actually fine. So fine that I'm going to actually take damage on purpose. Try and swap out my aura for something better. God damn it. Don't actually mean to take damage there, but it'll swap my aura anyway, so it's fine. Good, good, my little doggy. Right. Keep moving forward. Hey, we got fire rate again. Good, good, good. Fire rate's a good one. I can accept fire rate. Now we're just going to not get hit, which is the hard part. Got so many dips. Dips like the worst enemies for us because they're kind of hard to curse. Because we get knocked around so much by our stem cells. Excuse me, sir. Come back. Come back. Yeah. You shouldn't be too bad. It's really the damage aura that we're looking for, but fishing for that is not particularly easy. There you go. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Okay. Soul of Cain. Yara. Honestly, let's open up all of this. What the hell? Where'd you come from? I'm going to Yara all of this. I was going to say, I hope this is a good uh, pill. It's all a pretty flies. moon. Uh, I guess we carry one of these and then use it somewhere and then carry the next one. Oh, we got speed again. So just keep trying to swap the R's so we get damage back. Please. Secret room holds this fella. Bite, bite, bite. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Go for it. Destroy him. We got fire rate again. Fire rate's fine, as I said. It's not amazing, but it works. Should really grab the extra money there. Thank you. I don't know why we're going to use our Soul of Cain here, but I'm sure we'll find some room for it. Do not like the, uh, yeah, the air striking fella, I'll be honest. Fire rate is back. we got fire rate again straight away. Bit of extra speed. It's never hurt anyone. Sadly, we've not found a good place for Soul of Cain yet. Even he is not great. We need somewhere where we're going to get at least two doors off of it. Unless you're getting at least two red doors, I don't tend to find it to be that useful. There you go. Attack, my good boy. Attack. Small rock. Nice. It's actually a bit of damage that we very much need, so very happy about that. I just love it when he goes to town. He just starts munching and munching and munching. God damn, fire it, fire it, fire it. It's all we get. This is one of the hardest enemies because our dog just can't target it for some reason. Yeah, you can target these guys though. Good, good, good. Right, this is this is a a really good place to use it to start. I did get a Tinted Rock out of it, which is really nice. Then we get... Yes! That's what I was hoping for. Because that, now that means we can use the next um, Soul of Cain on another floor. Hypercoagulation is unfortunately not very good. A bunch of rule card. Check out what this is just in case. 
But yeah, unfortunately, hypercoagulation, it's not bad, and it allows us to play machines for free, but it's not amazing. It's not really what we're looking for. Again, I'm looking for tier modifiers. There's that item room as well. Good, good. We found it all now. Let me in. Let me in. Loki's horns? That could be potentially something. Ooh. We've got a little burn bag there. I don't know what mod that's from, but I quite like it. Could be from this mod, to be honest. Very plausible. Right. Go grab our other soul of Cain, and then we'll move on. So Kane is very, very good. Right. Okay, it does set up it does set up the, the, the burn thing on each segment, which I was really hoping it would. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be kinda hard to get him to target where we want him to target, to be honest. I think this is gonna be a, a, a particularly long fight, to be honest. Just because he's not going to really stay on them for, for like a really long time and fight them. And the, the segments like get put away pretty often. So I'm going to try and use 120 volt as much as I can here to uh, just steer near. Good. I'm going to take damage from time to time, obviously. You just keep chomping, do your thing, do your thing. You just do your thing, buddy. I'm gonna place a bomb there. Actually worked out, nice. I'm gonna take the negative here just because I want the damage. Then we'll go down to the next floor, because our damage is still lacking quite a bit. Unless we get red aura here. Oh, blue aura. So we're looking for another situation like that where we can get pretty much a three and one. This is not been a good room for us. Get him. Get him, boy. Yeah, unfortunately, I was really hoping we'd see a synergy with this guy. But it definitely leaves more room to explore him in the future if we want to. So I do not mind. And yeah, considering how fun this character just is to play in general, I'm really liking it. I really like the idea of... Your, your playable character not being the main driving force behind your damage. Like with Tainted Forgotten sort of thing. A cool concept. This is a good enough place to use this. It's not perfect, but it'll do. I'll be honest, I don't really like this room, so I'm just going to see what we can do. Oh, Tech Pin, hello. Wasn't expecting to see you here. Get him, boy. Best room. Two black hearts for free. Okay, this time we actually have to beat the room. He's going to have a real hard time with this, I think. I think once they get onto the, the smallest size, it's not going to be all so bad. Yeah, there you go. Look, he just chomps the hell out of them. But one of the bigger sizes is a little more tricky. It's just because we have to remark every time it splits that it causes a problem. Sadly, no second secret room this time, or super secret room, should I say. Ultra secret room, should I say, even. Wow. Complete brain fart there. Could not remember what the hell I was talking about. But yeah, when you have to, like, remark enemies that keep splitting, it can be a little frustrating. But it's not that bad. Oh, we got to shoot the whoop here. I didn't realize. Lovely. That is a, a quite a big damage augment here. Also, we do have damage aura that I did not realize, which is very, very nice. Let's try and keep that at all costs. Come on, my dog boy. Do your thing. We go. Just take out one of the harder enemies and then go for whatever else we can get. He is doing like a bloody, a bloody uh, attack now. Rather than it being blue tears, it's now red tears. I'm not quite sure what caused that, but I like it. Oh god, what are you? I don't recognize you things. Okay, keep her going. Now, these enemies are going to be frustrating, but... Luckily, luckily, I don't know why, but... 
they weren't. <laughs> I thought they were going to be a massive pain in the ass. Ooh. See, now we have some tier effects that are working with this guy. It's a bit of a shame we haven't gained them naturally, but from the treasure thing. Got some shield in tiers, we got some knockout drops in there. Lovely. I see all of them, I see them all. But let's try and be careful here. I think the horse thing is going to be particularly hard for our dog to uh, latch onto here, so we're just going to have to kill it ourselves, I think. There you go. We do get White Pony there, which is really good, but I think I'll take a pass on. Due to Shadows, unfortunately. Oh, both of these are just not good for us right now. That's a real shame. Because I don't want to respawn as another character, and neither of these have any tier effect associated with them, so. Bit of a shame. Um, flight while held, speed. Uh, I think Shoot the Woot's better for us right now. I honestly do. I think Shoop is going to be very good for us. Just because it allows us to easily take out two or three enemies every other room. Come on, doggy. Get over there. You know what you know what's to do. Jump, jump, jump. Huzzah. I do like the fact that he, he... If he's near an enemy like that and the mark runs out, he's, he's not just going to completely quit fighting them. He still will throw in an extra few chumps. You do need to eventually remark them, even if he is close. But for the most part, he's like, no, no, no. I, I, I understand the assignment. I get what's, what's going on here. And it, he'll, he'll, he'll give you a few extra chumps. Just free of charge. It's quite nice. Because I think otherwise, if you had to constantly reapply the, the mark in situations like that, it could feel a little frustrating, especially when it's an enemy that's harder to hit. Whereas with these guys, you can just stack it up, leave it, walk away. He'll do the rest. Tried hugging that boy. He didn't give me what I wanted. I'd like mapping out of you, please. That isn't mapping. There's two health ups though, so that's pretty pretty good. That's a health down though, so gonna have to take points off you for that. But that was an overall positive yield, so I can't. Complain too much. Okay, he's going to be chomping on an enemy that he can't possibly do anything to there, so that's not great. Right, now you can chomp on him. Good. Sorry to have confused you, Mr. Doggy. Okay, get in there. <laughs> I like... I like, um... When you get these larger enemies, with certain enemies, like, you can just tell that the way that their audio was made is just a dude went, roar, and then pitch shifted it to sound really messed up. And then when you get these tiny champions or these large champions where it, like, distorts the audio or pitch shifts it backwards, you can actually tell, like, you can actually hear a real human voice. Oh, double lockdown? Wow. You can actually hear a human voice saying that. I find that funny. Nice one. Right. We've lost a bit of dam a uh, bit of um HP here, but we did just gain our damage aura back, which is really what we've been waiting for. I want to try and keep it as long as we can, but every time I say that, things go wrong, so I'm not wanting to say it, <laughs> even though I already have. Really cool redesign of these brain enemies. Very thematic for like them being a brain. But also a really just cool attack that isn't overpowered, but it's quite scary. And I like the way that the, the tiers transition between normal to, to psychic as well. That's cool. I'm going to take a gamble here. Just get in there. This is what I wanted to do. There you go. Tried to do it on the left side, but the enemy kind of moved the wrong way for me to be able to do it. But it worked out in the end. Get on him, dog. No, my damage aura. How could you? How could you? Scratcher. Ugh. Don't really need money at this point, so... Scratchers that are giving us money is just like, eh. I want a rainbow chest. I want to hit the lottery. I realise it's like a 0.1% chance of happening on those things, but... Still. That's what I want. Right, 120 volt is actually really nice here, so... Try and utilise it as much as I can. 
Try and walk into the enemies as much as I can. No, don't, 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 don't do that really, that's me being an idiot. I thought you got stuck in the middle again there. Unfortunately, our heart did get stuck in the middle though. Would have liked that. Not great damage. Okay damage. Oh my god. Hit again. It's always the worst because you don't get your aura back until the next room. So we're without aura now. Right, he can just go, go to town. Chomp in like there's no tomorrow. I'm just going to stay pretty much perfectly still and let Halo Flies deal with this. Because oh, I was about to say, for the most part, it's blocking all the damage and then I get hit. I did a pretty good job though, so can't fault it. And we'll go up. Oh no, I took the negative. I went to the wrong floor. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I just realized I looked to the left. Oh, we got a rainbow champion here. Hello. You could give us some cool stuff, potentially, maybe. Gave us a pill. And you gave us a hermit card, which... Yes! <laughs> that was a very lucky random teleport there. All the teleport cards on this floor, like Hermit and um, Stars, are completely random from what I know at least. And it actually gave us a teleport to the boss. Good, good. Right, Isaac, it is time for you to meet my dog. Catch these bones. And I will show you what they are. Beautiful. We could be getting some health back there with hypercoagulation, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. L again, a little bit of a shame that we didn't see any cool synergies with this guy, but... I'm sure that given more time, this character could really, really shine. And honestly, this has been a perfect showcase nonetheless of what the base character as it is does. And again, I gotta say, for a mod gem, for a character created in a very short amount of time, very, very cool. I, I, I do wonder how like long some of these ideas have been cooking up because this is a really, really great idea. And it's a, it's a lot of fun as well. The animations on the, the dog are just honestly fantastic and charming. And... It seems powerful without being overpowered. It seems fun without being overly gimmicky. It's 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 great. It really is a very, very good idea. Good, good, good. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that showcase. I'm sorry to cut it short by accidentally going to this floor. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.